I'm thrilled to present our guest today. He is the president of an almost 100 years organization in the Washington DC area. An organization solely devoted to promoting healthy eating, educating the community about food and diet related diseases. This organization is also a champion of causes such as the environment, animal cruelty, and global hunger, to name just a few. Saurabh Dalal has been heading the Vegetarian Society of DC for many years now, and he has spearheaded many outreach programs dedicated to improve people's health. He has joined us today to talk about the role of a vegan diet in managing chronic diseases such as type 2 diabetes, and also one of the best solutions to obesity. We welcome Saurabh Dalal. Thank you for having us on the show. Thank you for joining us. Um, so tell us about VSDC. What does it do exactly? I know we have a lot of programs. Sure. Uh, probably more than we can cover in this show. Okay, yeah. Well, you know, VSDC is an all-volunteer nonprofit, and so we uh, promote the many benefits of vegetarianism throughout the metropolitan area. Mm -hmm. So that includes the Fairfax, Northern Virginia area, as well as D.C. and Maryland. And we plan about five to seven events per month. So we're very active. And we're also one of the oldest vegetarian societies. We're the oldest in North America because we were founded in 1927. I didn't know that. Yes, yeah, so the oldest in North America. And uh, we plan monthly events. And so the events range from a monthly potluck to restaurant visits to a monthly book club. We also have special emphasis groups. So we do an African-American networking group. We have a singles group. We have a GLBT group and a new children's play group. So we try and involve all the members of the community. And so everything we do is educational as well as community building. And we also try and have fun. We had uh, Tracy McCurter as our guest uh, a few weeks back. And she was telling us about the Eat Smart, which mm -hmm. is a, a <coughs> program uh, started by VSDC. And That's she right. was involved in putting it together. Yeah. Uh, can you tell us about Eat Smart? Sure. OK, so the Eat Smart program, it's um, something we actually have written grants for and we were funded. So it's a funded program. And what it does, it um, helps. Um, bring uh, information and strategies and ideas for populations that are at a higher risk for diet-related diseases. Mm -hmm. And so we show them with nutritional classes, with cooking demonstrations, um, how do you shop, where do you shop, how do you eat healthfully when you're out. So it's really a how-to class as well as a why. Is there such a thing as eating healthy when you go to restaurants? Um, there can be, and you can. You can certainly choose healthier meals than others. So I think you just have to kind of focus on what are the ones that are a little bit more fresh, less processed, moving away from the animal products, more plant-based foods. It's all fruits and vegetables and grains, and you can make so much out of them. So as you guys are going to demonstrate uh, later yes, today, you're going to find phenomenal food, <laughs> and it's easy. So um, I would like to introduce our next, next guest, Carmen. Carmen is a student of Eat Smart. Yes, she's actually been through the program, and we're really happy to have Carmen with yeah. us, too. Carmen, why, uh, tell us a little bit about your um, diet before you joined Eat Smart. Um, it was the typical American diet, you know, high fat, high cholesterol, um, eating ice cream in the middle of the night, <laughs> just, you know, all the little crazy stuff. And what prompted your interest in a vegan diet? Because that's a pretty tough transition. Well, it wasn't really that difficult. Um, I actually went through shingles, and as I was coming out of it, I found out about a vegan diet, and then um, I found out about the Eat Smart program. I thought it was a like cooking class first, <laughs> and when I went to it and I found out, I started reading labels, which was something that I didn't do as much before. I started losing weight when I first became vegan, but once I started reading those labels, I lost a lot more weight, so I've lost over 30 pounds. 30 pounds? Yes. Congratulations. Thank you. And how long? Um, well, it's been for three years. I've kept it off for three years. So that's a very good feeling yeah, because it's fun to shop. And that's the most difficult thing for people who lose weight is to yes. keep it off. It is. Uh, it is. You know, anyone can lose weight. But that's keeping true. it off is the real thing. It is. And I look younger than I did when I, before I started all of this. Okay. Well, you look wonderful. Thank and you. Keep up the good job. Thanks. A uh, lot. Thank you for uh, thank you for joining us today to, I appreciate to give being us this here. information. That's a really interesting story that Carmen has lost thirty pounds. Pretty amazing. That absolutely is, and, and I would have never guessed. Her age. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that must be a great feeling yeah. for you. You know, being responsible for such a great program that educates and helps so many people. It, it's really it's really touching and. You know, just uh, many people were involved in this program. Mm -hmm. But uh, as you mentioned, Tracy's name. Tracy was the person who led it, so we were able to bring her on because of that. And uh, so a lot of people are involved. And it's really just heartwarming how the program really has touched so many, many hundreds of people now that we've done it for several years. And it's ongoing. 
it's ongoing. We're still looking for funding for the current, uh, current yeah. year. So it's always a struggle, but I think you know, we've been able to do some really good things. So we're really happy about that. People, when they become vegetarian or vegan, they realize that there's a whole universe of food that they never knew about. That opens up, yes. So, so they always thought, you know, it's what you can't eat. Well, it's not really that. It's really all these new things that you can that you never knew about. And also the spices, which is really what makes the food come alive, mm -hmm. all those are always plant-based anyway. So they're actually finding and increasing you know, their universe of food. I wanted to see your yes. event. That is the Thanksgiving uh, dinner, which right. is called the... Um, it's at the Life Affirming Thanksgiving. Life Affirming, yes. yes, <laughs> yes. And, and yeah, so it's, it's probably our um, biggest event that we do every year. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of our flagship event. It's a, it's a very nice upscale event. We do it at a hotel in the central location. And we get about 250 people on average every year. And it's a completely vegan uh, meal. Mm -hmm. And of course, it's there with a lot of people. And everyone wants to be sort of together on Thanksgiving Day because sometimes people don't have an alternative. And this is an event that people can come together on, be with one another, and celebrate the, you know, the harvest and the fact that we have so much. And we always have a speaker. So there's always a great speaker every year. And we've had people like Wendy Rieger, who's been involved from NBC mm -hmm. News. So she's been at, at the event. And we also um, have had many people who are visionaries who want to share information, whether it's on animal issues, or it's on health, or it's on environmental issues. Our website is www.vsdc.org. It stands for the Vegetarian Society of DC. Mm -hmm. So vsdc.org. And uh, we're in the throes of planning the event this year. So um, we'll have the speaker announced very soon on our website. And uh, we're actually in the planning right now. So we always try and fine tune the menu every year just to make it a little bit more interesting and a little yeah. more uh, you know, appealing. And uh, now, starting, uh, you started last year to include a raw menu. Yes. So for our friends, the raw foodists yes. can also come and participate. That's right, yeah. We want to be inclusive. We like to include people wherever they are on the path towards an all-plant-based mm -hmm. diet. That's part of our mission. And so we know that uh, a lot of people, there's a trend towards eating more raw and healthier and just, uh, just live food. Mm -hmm. And so, of course, we're trying to do that and bring that into the them. event. Yeah. Tell us about the benefits of a vegetarian slash vegan diet compared to other diets. Sure. Well, you know, I think uh, one of the big things is that vegetarian foods really offer powerful benefits for people. And there are a large number of um, studies, a wide variety of studies that have been done that have shown the benefits of a vegetarian diet. And it shows how these diets can be good for people at any stage of the life cycle. And so, as you probably know, um, animal products are the only foods that have uh, cholesterol, dietary cholesterol. That's true. And so plant foods have no dietary cholesterol. So that's, of course, a great thing. And also animal foods are the main source of saturated fats in people's diets. Mm -hmm. And also it contains no fiber. And we also know that fiber does you know, wonders for decreasing blood cholesterol levels and all that. That's correct. So this is why plant foods are really powerful and they offer so many benefits. And we've shown that uh, preventing and reversing heart disease, preventing certain types of cancers, preventing and reversing uh, diabetes, and then lowering blood pressure, managing weight, all these are some of the successes of a vegetarian diet. So it really, it really does wonders. And um, as you're gonna see with food, it's, uh, it's delicious, it's attractive, it's colorful. And one of the big things we found is that color adds to the nutrient value of the food. So the more naturally colorful the foods are, yes, the more phytonutrients true. and the more antioxidant properties there are. So that's why I think it's also not only eating a, variety, a wide variety of foods, plant-based foods, but it's also eating colorful, naturally colorful foods is important. So if you're a vegetarian and you eat rice and beans every day, that's not healthy, is it? Well, <laughs> rice and beans are actually very good for you, and that's probably better than what people eat on average otherwise. Right. But I think if you um, can also add in a lot of like, you know, colorful fruits and vegetables into your diet, uh, I think that's probably a wonderful thing to do. Okay. The amount of resources that are needed to produce foods that are animal, based on animal products is much greater than if you eat the plant foods directly. So in terms of food resources going into animals and then in turn eating the animals, and then the water that has to go into the system, uh, the amount of land that's used, the amount of energy that's used, it's much, much higher. It's far more inefficient to eat a diet that's based on animals than it is to eat a diet on plants. And some of the numbers are, it's, it's not just a matter of like 20% or 50% more efficient, it's multiple times more efficient. So it can be five, 10, 15 times mm. more efficient to eat a plant-based diet than to eat a diet that consists of animal foods. And can I just also mention our website again, that's the best way to reach us, yes. and it's www.vsdc.org. And we also run the Vegan Meetup, and that's actually free and open to the public. You can it's an online organization. Mm -hmm. Just search for meetup.com, mm -hmm. and then go look for the DC area and you'll find the group there. And of course, we have many activities as well as many resources.